We are getting some developing news from the Intel Developers Conference, another conference out there in San Francisco. Chris Valerio is there. And Chris, Intel CEO Paul Udolini, he just spoke. What did he have to say? He did. He just spoke, just finished his speech a few minutes ago, and he's essentially introducing their latest generation chip. Now, here's the deal. This is the first semiconductor chip that has graphics capabilities built into the processors. Why is that important? Well, right now, you in your computer, you have your processor and you have a separate graphics chip. This combines the two. It's codenamed Sandy Bridge. Listen to what Odalini had to say. Sandy Bridge will revolutionize uh, PCs again. It was a product uh, that it was been codenamed Sandy Bridge. We will launch it uh, under the Intel branded name of the second generation Intel Core processor. And so that is what we are expecting now. He's, as far as timing, he said we should expect it in early 2011. This really represents a massive shift for the industry because it really is a different way of approaching. Second thing to remember is that Intel has lagged on the graphics capabilities, and this is something they're really trying to push to try to catch up with NVIDIA, try to catch up with AMD on this specific front. Julie. So, Chris, uh, besides that, what are some of the other themes that came out besides this graphics capability? What else did Alini have to say? You know, that kind of transitions into all the other themes that he had because here's the bottom line. Odalini was very focused on this idea of getting the processor, that's the brain of the PC, out of that big box. And that means having these processors, having these chips in tablets, in TVs, in laptops, uh, in phones. And he really focused on that. In fact, uh, one of the things that he mentioned was a new tablet computer that they're going to be powering, their chips will be powering. So it's really trying to focus on the consumer, the idea of getting chips into other areas outside side of enterprise and much more consumer focused and it's going to be interesting to see how these play out and what companies adopt them and how they're able to continue to develop.